Okay, so I want to keep this video short and sweet because if you wanted my life story, I would have sold you my book. So, uh, Blender Caustics, it's a new thing that's been added. It's still something that's being worked on. It's nowhere near its final stages. In fact, this is the first stage, uh, but it already looks pretty good and renders pretty quickly. So here you can see the difference between no caustics and caustics. I don't need to explain what it means. I don't need to load up the Wikipedia. You just use your eyeballs. You're like, yes, I understand before and after concepts. Uh, anyhow, uh, this is how you do the uh, Blender Caustics. So first thing you need to do is you need to download a newer build of uh, Blender. I've put a link in the description. I found that this one works. Uh, if you don't get the right build, you're not going to have caustic. So make sure you're using a newer version of Blender. Then after setting up a basic scene where you have like a plane and an object, that object having some kind of transmissive or glass material, uh, we only need to do a couple things. First of all, make sure you are in the cycles render engine uh, because it's a cycles thing. Uh, second of all, in the light, make sure you enable this uh, caustics light kind of thing. So this is emitting um, light that can be calculated as a just you know click the thing for the object that is glass right in this case the sphere make it a caustics uh, caster as you can see you can do that there and then on the surface that's meant to receive the caustics make it you, you, you know what to do it's not that complicated and um that's really all you need to do to generate these caustics uh <clears throat> it seems to work with uh, color and with um this tutorial is already going on too long. Uh, hopefully you learned something.